Good morning Octopus, I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. This week we're going to look at using descriptive language. Now we are going to look at Billionaire Boy, however we're also going to do some activities that involve uh, different exercises so we're not always looking at the same book every day. So we're going to think about first of all how do we describe, so what word types do we use to describe, how can we add further description to our writing using particular kinds of vocabulary. So we know that we could use adjectives to describe, we could use adverbs, we could also use verbs to describe and even nouns or pronouns. Okay so there's any type of um, word type that helps us to describe, for example prepositions, Okay, the list goes on. So we describe by using high level vocabulary. So we use powerful verbs. So rather than saying talked or said, we could use whispered. Um, rather than saying the blue sky, we could say the azure sky. So we're using high level vocabulary to really develop that image in our head to make it really stand out. So can you think of some different examples of these word types that we could use to describe? So write in your book any word types that we could use to describe and any examples of those word types. So today you're going to be writing some descriptive sentences or a descriptive paragraph. Silver, you're going to be finding appropriate adjectives to use. For gold, you're going to be using two A sentences, so remembering that's two adjectives separated by a comma in the middle. And for platinum, you're going to use some expanded noun phrases in a paragraph of writing to describe. So your silver activity today then, you have some sentences here which are really, really basic and I want you to up-level them by using some powerful adjectives to describe each noun. So the first example is the lady was sitting in a chair. So think about what nouns there are in that sentence, so what naming words. So I know, for example, that lady is a noun and I also know that chair is a noun. So there are two nouns there that I could describe with adjectives. So I could use the word old to describe the lady, I could use the word frail to describe the lady, um, and then thinking about the chair, perhaps wooden, uh, crooked. Okay, so think about what vocabulary you could use to up-level this sentence and rewrite it using those powerful adjectives. You've got six sentences to be getting on with there for silver, so just using appropriate adjectives to describe. Moving on to goals and platinum then. For goals, I want you to be using descriptive sentences, so short standalone sentences on their own. But to work towards platinum, you need to write a paragraph of writing. Okay, and you're going to be describing these creatures on the right. So you could choose one of these to focus on, or you could have another little look on Google for some more images to help you. This top figure is of a griffin and the lower one is of a sea serpent. So you could find some other pictures to help you think of more vocabulary. So first things first, you need to choose a creature to describe. So it may be the griffin or it may be the sea serpent. And you're going to brainstorm words or phrases to describe them. So I've chosen the griffin and I've thought of vast feathered wings, a tail like a lion, Look, he's got a tail like a lion. He's also got feet like a lion, paws at the back, but the front he's got talons like a bird and he's got wings like a bird. This is a mythical creature and he's got black beady eyes. Then I've gone on to use an expanded noun phrase. The griffin's black beady eyes stared menacingly at its prey. So to achieve platinum today, I want you to write a paragraph of writing, including expanded noun phrases. 
I have popped in a prompt to help you at the end of the flip chart to help you write expanded noun phrases and have a go at that. For gold, remembering that you need to be writing sentence still, sentences still using 2A, so your silver task, but also including extra bits of vocabulary, perhaps some adverbs or prepositions there to include more detail. Please send your work over to me and I can't wait to read it.